A common design pattern is to have a feature section with text and links on top of an image background and a semi-transparent overlay. But this is a common source of color contrast issues, and it can be tricky to figure out which colors and transparency percentages are needed to make this successful. Let's cover the simplest and most effective approach to solving this problem. In our design file, I'm gonna duplicate our current design so we can make changes freely and have a reference where we started. This frame has an image fill, and inside of this image frame, we have a semi-transparent overlay at 60% opacity. Selecting the parent frame, instead of having the image fill, we're actually gonna replace this with 100% white. The reason for that is we're testing against the worst case scenario with the image underneath this semi-transparent layer. Looking at our original design, we have white text on top of an image. So the worst case of this image is that it has pure white somewhere in the picture. To ensure that we have sufficient color contrast, we want to test against that worst case scenario. So with this 100% white background, we can now sample the resulting background color of this combination here. And with that sample, we can now go into a color contrast checker and input this as our background color. Back in our design, we have this lighter text color, but let's test against the worst case scenario, which would be this more subtle text color. So copying this text value out and testing this as the foreground color, we can see that we're not passing sufficient color contrast with only a 2.95 ratio. We can increase the opacity of this dark overlay so it has more contrast with the text. I'm gonna bump this up to 75%, and now we can sample this new resulting background color. We now pass with 4.91 contrast, which passes the AA standard. So with our original design, we can select our overlay and bump this opacity up to 75%. And it's a subtle design change, but now we have a guaranteed passing color contrast regardless of the background image. To extend this out further, we have the inverse of this design with dark text on top of a light background with an image overlay. And the process is the same. We'll duplicate this. We'll replace our background image, this time with 100% black fill, which would be the worst case scenario for dark text. And we'll test the resulting color contrast with this combination. Again, picking our most subtle text color, we can see that we only have a contrast ratio of 1.47. If we select our overlay and bump this up, let's try 75%. We can now test this color combination yet again. And now we pass with 4.58 to one for a double A standard. Going back to our original design, let's select our overlay layer and bump this up to 75%. And now, regardless of the background image, we know we're protected with sufficient color contrast. 